I feel like Kelly really had a lot of that song and the melody when she walked in there. And she literally goes, what if it's, I'm out of night, and I don't know. And she just does that right off the bat. And I'm like, that's awesome. It sounds really hard to sing and like nothing I've ever done before. So it probably means it's right. I'm Travis Denning, and this is the hit story of my song, After a Few. After a few drinks, it's always the same thing. I was listening a ton to Charles Kelly's uh, solo record he put out, which I think is absolutely amazing. There's a song on there called Dancing Around It. It's funny when I tell people that's the song that kind of inspired the vibe because After a Few is so high energy and has so many tracks and loud guitars and it's in your face. And Dancing Around It is really laid back and reserved. But when I heard that song, I saw a picture in my head of a low lit bar, you know, these two people in a back booth who have history. And when Kelly said this title and what she thought, we got to After a Few. When I caught you looking, a little smile, little how you I wrote that song before I had my record deal. So of course, we need to pitch it. I want to send it to Luke Bryan and I want to send it to Dustin Lynch. And I had all these people that kind of saw in my head singing it. Brian Wright at Universal Music Group heard it and emailed me and he was like, I'm not playing that song for Luke Bryan because like, this is your song. He's confident that it could be my song and maybe I need to be a little bit more confident in myself. It was a big shifting point for me in my songwriting process and going from focusing on getting cuts to focusing on writing songs for Travis. Feel the sting in the morning light. It's really hard to get a demo vocal right the first time, uh, but once we fully did it with a band and I heard that vocal sitting there, I didn't want to re-sing it. I just thought we, I thought I'd got it that first time and I felt like I'd mess it up if I try to change it. So that vocal you hear on the radio is me sitting in a couch with a SM7 and a coffee singing it. And uh, I think that's cool and very magic about that song. After a few Making this music video was great because it was the first time that I've like acted. And by acted, I sat at a bar and drank, which is, they typecasted me for that. And the greatest thing about the idea that Justin Clough wrote up was the parallel between going all in when you're up and feeling good on poker versus going, am I gonna make this decision again when it's feeling good, but I know it's wrong with this girl. I mean, everybody's had that relationship or that one person where you know logically and in your head like it's time to move on. But there's also something that's kind of sexy about breaking those rules. My music is stories and loud guitars and loud drums and, and high energy. That's what I want it to be, even on the slow songs. So I think that song just grabs every corner of who I am musically and just as a person. It feels really damn good to have a top 20 song. It feels like, wow, belling from college after one semester was worth it good.